Properly calibrating a sprayer is an important part of, of uh, applying pesticides correctly. Uh, we're going to go through the steps, uh, actually three easy steps for you, to, um, for you to go through to properly calibrate your sprayer to be able to put on uh, the correct amount of whatever uh, pesticide or herbicide uh, that you're intending to, to apply. You only need uh, four simple household things uh, to, to get the proper measurements. Uh, first, you'll need a calculator, a collection device uh, that you can collect a nozzle output in uh, fluid ounces or milliliters, some kind of stopwatch or timing device, and, uh, and a tape measure uh, to uh, measure your uh, your spray pattern. Turf recommendations are often given in a thousand square feet uh, or per thousand square feet basis and we've marked out 20 by 50 feet to give you a, an example of what a thousand square feet looks like. Maintaining a constant walking speed is an important part of making a proper application. Uh, three miles per hour is a very uh, nice speed to make a, a backpack sprayer uh, application. And if you practice walking 44 feet in 10 seconds, you are essentially walking three miles per hour. When we make an application, uh, we want to maintain that constant speed to make sure that we're getting the right output on the area. For the width component of the formula, we need to determine what the, uh, the width of our spray band is. If you have a single nozzle sprayer, it's the width of the spray pattern. And in this case, our effective spray pattern is approximately 24 inches. So that's the number we'll use uh, in the formula. If you have a uh, spray boom that has more than one nozzle, the number you'll use is the distance between the nozzles in inches. For the gallons per acre uh, component of our formula, uh, we need to a lot of times look on the label to determine what a, um, what a proper gallons per acre is. And then we can convert that to uh, gallons per thousand square feet. For the sake of our example, we're just going to use um, uh, a half a gallon per thousand square feet, which uh, equates to about 21 and a half gallons per acre. Okay, so now we have all of the components that we need to calculate our gallons per minute and we need to check our sprayer output. Uh, we'll, it's best to do this, uh, test it two or three times, and we'll collect uh, the proper amount of so, uh, spray solution in one minute. Uh, one minute is a long time, uh, so we can collect half that amount in 30 seconds or a fourth the amount in 15 seconds, and that's a better time frame uh, to use. We want to collect the uh, solution in a, um, a container that we can measure the output in either uh, fluid ounces or in milliliters. An important part of a sprayer is having a pressure gauge, which helps you maintain a constant pressure when you're making an application, which helps ensure a, a uniform, even application. For this formula, we have our gallons per minute equals gallons per acre times our speed times our spray width or the width between nozzles all over a constant of 5,940. So we can calculate our uh, gallons per minute and check it, uh, check it against our sprayer output. Now this can seem kind of complicated, but really all it comes down to is your speed, your nozzle output, and the amount of area that you're covering. We don't want to overapply pesticides and we don't want to underapply pesticides. So taking these steps will help us apply the right amount. And as always, we encourage our viewers to uh, use and read the pesticide label of any product they're applying because there's always information on there that can help them in calibration uh, and, and application of these products.